Trench coat detectives. Dum dum. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Why are you touching the body? I don't have fingerprints. Remember that time? Yeah. Last week? I remember that time. Yeah, you were the one, you weren't the one that got burned. I would, okay? I don't have fingerprints right now, and my hand's kind of sensitive, so this kind of hurts. So I would appreciate it if you would respect my job as a detective so I can find out who murdered this man. You should respect the sheriff. You are not the sheriff. He's just a nice dude. I am the sheriff, goddammit! Yeah. Hey, hold on. Man, dumb son of a bitch. He tried to go for the gun, but he grabbed the pillow instead. Last reflex. What do you want from him? He got murdered before he got to the gun, which means he knew somebody was coming for him. Or he was at least afraid. Just saying. I don't know. Well, afraid would be the idea. Absolutely. Hold on, though. Jeez. Is that your name? No. How long have we been partners for? A while, and you don't know my name. Well, you come to whatever. Irrelevant. Check the basket. Why? Check the basket. Why? Check the basket. I'm not gonna say it again. Please. Trust me. Trust me. Check the basket. Ooh. 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 What is that in the basket? The gun. The gun, or what else in other terms shall we call it? The weapon that killed him. The, 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 the what weapon? The weapon that killed him. Hot nigga down. Move out the way. Murder weapon. Murder weapon. No fingerprints. I can touch it. On the way. So what else? That, okay, so we found it. Alright, so we found out what killed Hold him. Hold up, Kimo Zabin. Second murder weapon. Second murder weapon. Brian Payne in the closet. He was bludgeoned to death by the same gun. There's blood over that. But he can't. Can he not bludgeon a man with two things, with two blunt objects? Check the back of the frying pan, please. Tell me what's on the back of it. I have to use the blanket so I don't touch anything. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, blood, guts, a little bit of brain matter. I think a piece of skull was on the back of it too. I think I saw an eyeball on the floor too. Either way, we found out a second murder weapon. Hey ho! I am a fucking sheriff! Put it away. I'm oh, sorry. Got a little into the moment. You are nothing but the moment. I am nothing but the moment. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> the drawer. For his phone. How would you figure the phone would be in there? Just check the thing for his phone. Please. Unless you want to search him and see if it's on him. I'm in no mood. Oh, what is that? In the drawer. Hot diggity dog. Oh, it's just phone. Check his messages. Who's the last person to text him? Some man named Jalen. Hmm. It's a threatening letter, right? From another person. What does it say? It's very much a threatening letter. What does it say? Say it out loud, please. For everyone here in the choir. It's talking about how he wants to kill her. For what reason? They robbed the bank. And? Why don't you say it? Because you love being so proud. The man knows where the money is, which means it's somewhere around in this room. Check that book right there. Check it. Check it. I, I bet you there'll be a letter in there. Or is it that book? No, it's that book. It's that book. It's definitely that book. No, which book? That book. Top one. 
Jeeves. My name is not Jeeves. Okay, whatever. Just read what it says. Out loud for the claims. And for me. Again, no class. Just read it, please. Just humor me for a second. Mall circle. Is that where the money's located? Well, it seems so. Hot dig in the dome! Hee how! Hee how! We found our murderer. If we go there and stake it out, he will eventually show up there. Look for the money. That means we solved two cases for the price of one. <laughs> oh wait, come back! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Trench coat detectives. Dun dun. Wait, was that?